Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. We still continue with the Power BI and DAX videos. In the previous video, we saw how we can calculate the year to date and also the running total. Today, we are going to solve a problem that related to the running total or the year to date. Suppose that you have a data model containing 12 months, your calendar table containing 12 months from January up to December. However, the actual data that you have, the sales data that you have inside the model is up to June or July. You have four or five months empty towards the end of the year. In this case, your running total will continue till end of the year. So whenever you create a report, you will have some spilled over months that you want to get rid of. And this is exactly what we are going to see today. In some other cases, when you have a slicer and this slicer is working with the month in a calendar table and the calendar table again is for 12 months. However, your actual data stops, let's say at June or July or August, you will also see like four empty options inside your slicer that it's better to get rid of. And also this will be the second example that we are going to look at today. Let's go directly to Power BI and try to explain the example and then see how we are going to solve these two issues. We have a normal star schema model containing five tables. The transaction tables called sales transaction containing the daily transaction for the sales and classified using five dimensional table or five lookup tables, one for the channel one for the region and then one for the product containing the product name category and the price and finally a calendar table containing all required classification for the date column and all dimension tables related to the transaction table using normal one to many relation in the report view i have only one visual which is basically a matrix or pivot table containing the month, month, year a column from the calendar table. And you can see that we have only seven months from Jan up to July 2019. And I have one measure representing the total sales. And the next requirement is to calculate the year to date sales, which is very easy and basic. And let's try to write this measure together. I'm going to select a new measure. Let me give it a name sales year to date equal. I'm going to use a very basic function called total YTD. It requires an expression, which is basically the measure that already calculating the total sales. I'm going to select it and then comma. And the second requirement will be a date column, which I already have inside my calendar table. So I'm going to write calendar and then select the date column, close the bracket and hit the check mark. Let me add it to the sales transaction table. And I'm going also to put it as decimal number and zero decimal places. This is a quick formatting for the measure. Now I have the measure. Let me just drop it inside my visual. And here you go. You have a very quick and easy calculation for the sales year to date. First month, exactly like the total sales, 5 million point five. And then it accumulate each and every month until it reached July. This is no problem. However, you can notice that I have here from August up to December, I don't have any sales. However, you can see that the sales year to date is spelling till end of the year and the number is repeated each and every month from July up to December. What we want to do next is to try to get rid of this section of the report using a small tweak inside our measure. Before moving further, let me just take a copy from the same visual, control C and then control V. Let me take it separately here. And I want to change this visual from being a matrix to be something like a line chart. And you notice that when we use the line chart, even the problem is much worse. You can see that I have each and every month, the year to date is accumulating. And then starting July, I will have this ugly flat line as you can notice. That's why it's better to get rid of the additional or the spilled month that has no sales value. The technique that we are going to use to tweak inside the sales year to date measure is very easy and simple. Suppose that I can add a new column here inside the same visual. And in this column, I need a list of trues and falses. 
what this trues and falses will do it will check each and every line inside the same visual so suppose that i'm going to check the first line january 2019 and i'm going to check the column or the measure total sales if there is a value here or i have no blank here i'm going to mark this as true same for the next one also i will have a true and then true and true and true and then when i move to a month like august you will see that i have a blank value inside the total sales column which is basically the total sales measure i need to see a false here so if i manage to get a list of trues and falses to indicate that i have blank or non-blank inside the total sales for each and every month this can help me inside the sales year to date in order to either show or hide the value from this visual let's try this together in a new measure i'm going to add a new measure let me call this measure sales blank and then equal i'm going to use a function called is blank this function requires a value it will check if the value is blank or not blank i need to check which value the value will be only for the total sales so i'm going to just open a square bracket i have only two measures let me select total sales close the bracket and then the check mark now i have a new measure let me just drop it inside the same visual you will see that i have a list of trues and falses but unfortunately in inverse logic meaning that i have falses inside the month that is not blank and true inside the month which is blank i need to reverse this logic i need to see the trues here and the falses here in order to do so i'm going to do a very quick and small change inside the same measure sales blank let me just write not before is blank and this will reverse the logic hit the check mark and here you go i'll have the true whenever i have a value inside the measure total sales and i have false inside each and every blank row inside this visual and also i have true in the total which is very good because there is no intention to hide the total now i can just take the same logic here just Control c to copy and then inside the sales year to date let me do my quick tweak at the beginning i'm going to use the total year to date so i'm going to just store it inside a variable i'm going to hit alt and enter to have a new row let me declare a variable var and then let me call this sales ytd and equal then another alt enter i'm going to declare another variable var this time let me call it sales blank just to check if the sales is blank or not equal i have my logic here not is blank total sales and then alt enter i'm going to use a return and then inside the return i'm going to use an if statement the if will check if i have a blank row or i have a value inside each and every row so i'm going to type if the condition that i want to check will be only the sales blank why because it will return either true or false so it can work as a condition inside the if statement and then comma if the result is true please show the sales year to date and if the value is false please show a blank i can just write the blank function this will work perfectly however even if i remove the blank i just ignore the last argument in the if statement it will also default to a blank so i can just use it like this i can just hit the check mark and here you go you will see that i managed to get rid of all the empty rows let me select the visual and i'm going to get rid of the sales blank because now i need only total sales and sales year to date and you can see even here the line chart is working perfectly before looking at the next issue in this video let's try to add additional month inside this model and see what will happen inside our visuals if i just selected the sales transaction table it is a table built on another table inside the same model and it filters the data up to 31st july 2019 so i can just change this to august and hit the check mark now i have more data inside the same transaction table and you will see that i have now august here is the total sales value and here is the sales year to date and also the line chart visual is working up to august perfectly the other issue that we want to solve today is regarding the slicers 
In this case, the case that we have today, we have a calendar table inside the model containing dates from the 1st of the year, 1st of January up to 31st of December. However, your actual data is only up to August as you can see here in this example. This scenario will result in empty months inside the slicer. So let's try something and see how we can solve this. I'm going to take this down here and I'm going to add a new visual. This time I'm going to select a card. This card will show only the total sales. So I can just select the total sales and put it inside our card. I need just to add one decimal place, 43 million. Let me add one decimal place here. Now you can see that I have 43.4 million total sales up to August. Let me now add the slicer. I'm going to select from the visuals. I'm going to select a slicer. And inside the slicer, I'm going to put the month year column. And here you go. You have all the months from Jan up to December. If you select anything from Jan up to August, you have no issue. However, if you start to select from September going forward, this will be a blank. And we need to get rid of the blank months inside the slicer. In order to do so, I'm going to capitalize on the filter area here. My first section in the filter area is regarding the visual. So this section is filters on this visual. By default, because I used the month year field inside the slicer, you will see that I have inside the filter the option to use the month year as a filter. I can just expand this and I have all the months. I can just select all and then get rid of the empty months, December, November, October and September and this is working very good. No problem at all. However, the only problem is when I add a new month, when I add a new month or a new data up to let's say October, I have to come back and check September and October and so on and so forth. And most probably you are going to forget. And in this case, you will have a bigger problem. So the solution will not be exactly the same. However, I'm going to capitalize on the filter section as well. Let me just clear the filter here and collapse this one. And if you check here below the field that we have, you'll check that I have another section. And in this section, I can add a data field. So in my case, I'm going also to select the total sales. I'm going to drop it here inside this section. And now I can apply a rule. And to apply the rule, I have a drop down here and a lot of options or a lot of ready-made rules. In my case, I'm going to select is not blank. Once I select is not blank, I can just apply the filter. And here you go. The slicer is limited only up to August. And the beauty about this, if I add new data, it will update automatically. And we can just check this together. Let me select the sales transaction once more. Now it's filtered up to 31st August. Let's change this to September and 30 instead of 31st. Hit the check mark. And you can see now I have the month of September added automatically to my slicer. And we also can check the other two visuals. You can see here the line chart is up to September now. And same for the matrix, it is up to September. This means that both solutions are dynamic and are helping you to build more professional Power BI reports. I believe both examples are very useful and the solutions are very easy to apply. And this will help you to have a more professional and user-friendly report. We will continue with DAX and Power BI in future videos. So please keep following us. If you didn't subscribe yet, please subscribe. If you like the video, please like it. And also leave me a comment and we'll catch you in next video. And bye.